Hello everyone, it's Catrice here and I welcome you to this new video. Today we want to talk about a new Crystal Cup that got announced for the Link Reigns pack. If you don't know what the, what the Link Reigns pack is, that is the pack that has many Link monsters for many archetypes. And yes, Crystal is now one of them. We are talking about Crystal Hellfiber, a water machine type Link 2 monster with 1500 attack and bottom left bottom right markers. It requires two monsters of which at least one has to be a tuner. If this card is Link Summoned, you can special summon one level 3 or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position but its effects cannot be activated this turn. During your opponent's main or battle phase quick effect, you can banish this card, special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon. You can only use each effect of Crystal and Hella Fiber once per turn. So what do I think about this card? Let's just jump right into the pros. So it is pretty generic. You can summon it with any tuner or and either any non-tuner or another monster. Just basically with any tuner and, and any other monster. This card also summons any level 3 or lower tuner from your hand or deck. Arguably only from your deck because why would you summon it from your hand? Except if you like have three crystal tuners in your hand and cry a uh, cry a river, then you might summon one from your hand. But mainly you're summoning from the deck, and it's pretty good that way. And also you can summon any tuner synchro monster from your extra deck with its second effect, which is also very very good and very very generic. Like synchrons are gonna have also pretty much fun with it, and I actually like how it's made. It summons either C3 or Rion in our scenario, in the Crystron scenario. It can also summon Quan, but I found myself to have cut Quan, so I'm not going to list it as like a main card to summon with it. I will possibly make another video about Crystrons and how to run with ratios and stuff later in the future. I have some video ideas that might come more frequently now, like I have like two video ideas already in mind for later, so Let's keep in touch, let's keep it going, we might get some more content soon. This card can also summon Quandex in the opponent's turn, Quandex being our level 4 synchro tuner for those who hasn't, have not played Crystrons for way too long. That also means, because it is a synchro summon, that you can trigger, uh, just by using this effect, you can trigger Starlight Junction and shuffle one opponent's card back, which is awesome because the banishing of this card is a cost, so you, your opponent cannot pop this monster to prevent its effect like he could with Crystron Tuners trying to get a Synchro. This is very good. It has pretty good link markers for a link too with bottom left, bottom right. In this card, these markers are not perfect, but they are pretty good. I'm going to explain why they are not perfect a little later. It is very easy to link someone because of a certain fella called Gofu the Vague Shadow because Gofu can just summon it pretty easily and without using a normal summon, just using itself and a token. Which is pretty nice and you also have one token left, which can or which may or may not be actually a bad thing because it is kind of filling your board. But we can deal with that. I, I mean it's basically Gofu into Hell of Fiber. <coughs> Excuse me. And also this card can be resummoned with Crystron Impact, Crystron Quarian, Gundrax, Magna Reverse, Different Dimension, Deep Sea Trench, and all these kinds of things that can summon uh, machine type monsters or water monsters. And it can also be recycled by stuff like Salvage because it's a water monster with 1500 attack. For the downsides, we don't have too much, or rather, we do actually have a lot. This card is possibly a little too generic and abusable because you can just summon anything with it. A Gofu uh, into Hell of Fiber is basically a one card Link 4 because you ha still have a token left when summoning it and when it's Link Summoned you can just special summon another level, uh, another tuner from the deck. So you have 4 monsters on the field using no, um, no real uh, normal summon whatsoever which is kind of strong but it's just a negative point for me because I think cards being abusable is not a good thing of card design. But generally it's also a plus, so don't get confused too much. This card has no markers on the left or right, and this is one of the downsides I have this is what I wanted to explain with the markers. The perfect markers for this card would have been left or right with down. So left down or right down. 
which would have been very good because if you resummon this card with Mega Reverse, Quarian Gundrax or Impact, you can then use another Linked Zone, which would be pretty awesome for this card, but sadly because it's bottom left and bottom right, you cannot do that. This is something that would have made this card perfect for Crystrons. This would have made this card literally um, the best designed Crystron support card you could have made. And I am not even kidding about that because then it would still be generic. It would just offer one zone for the for the regular deck, but for Crystrons it would uh, open more zones because of the design. Like this card's card design opens up for many possibilities. This is nice, but uh, I I might just brag about it too much. And uh, yeah, this card also banishes itself for the summon, which means that the linked zones disappear both the bottom left and the bottom right, which would have been not so much of a problem if, if we summon back, we could just get back one zone, but it's not the case. Also, this card cannot be summoned if you use the Crystal non turus effect earlier, except for South Fafnir. So if you use Rosenix, Prezial, Smyre, or Fisper uh, beforehand, you're pretty much screwed in that situation because Hell of Fiber becomes unavailable to you. However, because we strive to summon this card with Gofu most of the time, that is not that much of a problem, but it's still something that I wanted to mention because it's kind of important for us to note down. So generally what I think about Hell of Fiber is that it is actually a very well designed card. It's not perfectly designed because of the link marker situation, but its design is very very good and very very well made. It can be abused a lot and it might really get abused a lot in other decks other than Crystrons. Like, I mean it can be played in Yang Zings, it can be played in Synchrons, it can be played in like Shadow even, which is something a friend brought up. And it has many possibilities for, uh, to be played in many many decks, but looking at Crystron specifically, this card is very very good and I would definitely reserve at least one space for a Hell of Fiber. Yeah, I think I would just leave it at one. One Hell of Fiber is all you need, because you can chain this card to anything that will target or destroy it in your opponent's turn, so that is pretty cool. Alright, what else do I have to say? Not too much. I think I wanted, I wanted to note down that if you have this card and like a Rion setup, I don't know if I said this earlier, I think it was in another thing. Like this card also makes Axel Synchrons really really easy because you can just use a Rion to get for Insectron or use a C3 to get into Amatrix. Then tag this out for either Axis Synchron or Quandex and summon either a Phoenix or a Stardust Warrior with it. That way Axis Synchrons are way way easier to summon and that makes this card pretty pretty good to actually get Phoenix out for a change. Because that is a thing that was already kind of above him earlier but with Link Format coming in that was really really bad. But now we have a way to actually summon Phoenix, so I might actually get Phoenix in my extra deck right now to play it rather than just to look at it in my binder. Also, this card it just has a really cool artwork. It's just com it's just a combination of Quan, Rion, and C3, and I really really like this artwork. But that's just another plus point that we don't need to mention. That's just aesthetics that I really appreciate. So. All in all, I can possibly talk a lot about this card, but I shouldn't overdo it because we're already in it for 8 minutes and I don't want to steal too much of your time. So yes, my thoughts on this card are pretty great. Beforehand, we had Master Our Boy to play as our Link Monster, which had the same Link Markers but gave us a boost and gave us a recycle. But Crystal Hell of Fiber completely makes Master Boy obsolete because of its nice effects and synergy with our Crystron archetype. And I really appreciate that Konami actually did make a Crystron Link monster. That just means that we, the Crystron fanbase, did something great. Nah, just kidding. That's just that just means that they still care about synchros. Because let us face it, Crystron Hell of Fiber. Might just, uh, might just exist because Crystron is the latest Synchro deck that we got. But still, this card is awesome in Crystrons, this card is awesome in Synchro decks, and I cannot wait to 
play it in real life or gen or just generally on any like platform. I really look forward to using this card. But that's just my fault. I want to I want to know your thoughts as well. So just give me some comments or likes or whatever. I don't want to brag about it too much or like, just ask you to comment so much. But if we can get into a nice little discussion, that would be awesome. I really love discussions. I really love to um, have some contact with you, to talk with you in the comment section. So please comment. I will answer you 100%. I hope to uh, you enjoyed this video. This has been Akatrius and stay Ravened.